All right, thank you for hosting me, Ami. It's so exciting to be here in Tel Aviv with you. Yeah, I mean, really great to have you, Shadur. I'm very excited to talk with you today. This is not your first time with this family at Wiz. Um, tell us about how you met Asaf, uh, Roy, and you know, maybe 17 years ago? It's actually 22 years ago. Whoa. I was just 17 and a half, <laughs> uh, just finished high school, and joined the army for nine years. And uh, since then, we've been working together in, in, in the Army, in our first startup, Adalom, in Microsoft, and now at Wiz. What do you think has changed between the four of you and your relationship and how you make decisions together? A startup is really not just about the idea. It really is about the team. And I think that's the secret of what we do here. And um, we've known each other for so many years that even when we don't agree, we have an ability to actually come to agreements. And I think that's part of the, the, the magical way about knowing people and friends for so many years. You have done something different between Adalom and Wiz. You describe it as the scalable startup. Tell us more about that. You know, Adalom was an amazing startup. Three years, uh, we got uh, acquired by Microsoft. We joined Microsoft. And, and then we realized something. We had to remove around 70% of the features in order to make it scalable for tens of millions of users. And what we've done in Wiz, we are merging the learnings together. On the one hand, an amazing team trying to change the world with innovative ideas. On the second concept is let's build something that scales. If a feature doesn't scale 10x, 100x, let's not build it into the product. And it's not just the features that you build and the engineering culture, it's also how you operate on sales and marketing don't do anything, processes, costs, that doesn't scale 100x. So let's break it down, because I remember when we, when we were getting together to start um, Wiz, it was called Beyond Networks. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, still, I still love that original concept, uh, yes, by the too. way. <laughs> me too. Uh, that, but this is part of, you know, this is a, a nice example. You know, I, I, I still believe it was a good idea. But as a team, we understood it's not the right time for the idea. Right? It really is about understanding the customers, what is the pain, what is the value that I can bring to them right now that is going to change their world. You had many opinions right, around the architecture, you had a mindset of scaling the startup. And so for example, um, you built an engineering team which was pretty significant before we even identified exactly what the customer demand was. So talk us through kind of how you uh, think about building an engineering organization at day zero. Many times with engineering teams that are not experienced enough, you do over engineering. That's obviously really bad. I, I think what we've built here, and that's also unique about the engineering team, we also go back together for 15 years. How many of the first 20 engineers did you know for, for 15 years plus? Uh, almost all of them. This is part of the magic. It really is a family that goes together. We, we know each other for so many years and they all went through the same lessons that we went. It's not just the founders. I mean, now we serve 35% of the Fortune 100, mm -hmm. and so certainly customers are asking and, and requesting for features, some of which may be on the roadmap, some are not. H how do you actually prioritize? So it's a, a lot about discipline and vision. When everyone in the company, and not just the employees of the company, also the customers, everyone understand what we're trying to build then a specific feature for integration with the product is important, but also the customer understand, yes, it is more strategic that you build this uh, whole new functionality for scanning data because it will enhance everything that you do. The realization that we had in Wiz was that cloud changes everything. And from our perspective, security needs to completely change. Strategy for security, operations for security, everything you do about security needs to radically change when you look at cloud. We started from a first problem that we wanted to solve, which is how do you analyze risk in cloud? But this is just the first problem. Right. Really the key, key problem, and we are in a journey. And that's why I said, like, if customers understand we are on a journey and they join us, the journey is to help you build a strategic platform for security for your, uh, for your company that all teams have to work together using it to make the cloud secure. And this is a journey that we take together with our customers. I think you alluded to something really important earlier, which is the clarity of focus on the objective also creates alignment outside of engineering into yes. sales and marketing, mm -hmm. which again, I think is different from 
you know, when we were at Odalum, um, which, the, you know, the sales and marketing efforts came a little bit later on, and they're more focused on getting the first 10, first 20 customers. Uh, tell us more about what's different and how you interact with sales and marketing, again, from day zero in a, in a really uh, different way. Many startups, when they actually look at the market, they're looking at the nascent market, a market that doesn't exist. They're trying to solve a problem that exists, but most customers don't even understand it existed. In Wiz, it's very different. We're trying to tackle a market that existed for many, maybe 15 years. 15 years. I remember when we started Adalom, we had a moment after we raised um, our first big round that we had to pivot. I remember Rasaf telling me, I mean, maybe we should pivot to cloud security. It was 2012, okay? I told him, nah, it's too crowded. When you try to sell to a market that doesn't exist, you have to educate everyone all the time, yeah. right? For Wiz, it's a different challenge. Everyone feels the pain. When we talk about the pain with almost any team today in the market, they already are using maybe five or 10 different products to try to solve and they know there is a pain. So for us, the challenge right now with, with sales and marketing is different. It's, about, it's not about educating the market. It's really about getting to the market. One of the things that you and I have disagreed on uh, in the last few months has been um, approaching the ecosystem in this crowded landscape. As you mentioned, there's so many different products and, and services that customers have adopted. One strategy could be to play um, as Switzerland and be neutral and support the ecosystem and make all of those investments more successful. Uh, a different approach can be to be more competitive with certain you know, segments uh, of the market. How do you think about it? We don't see Wiz as a feature or a product that just wants to solve a, problem, a specific problem for the customer. What we feel is broken is the entire operations of how the security team works together with other teams, with the developers, with DevOps, with, with, with many, many other functions in the company, with even the business units themselves, to actually enforce cloud security. Right? This is part of the key challenge in, in cloud. Security does not own the actual cloud, and it's like a city that changes every day. All of the buildings change every day. It's very agile. Right? So cloud security is a completely new, um, I would say, challenge. Right? And, and for that challenge, we need to build a new operating model. So when you think about that, Wiz has to interact with all of your existing products because we want to give you the fabric of how security interacts with developers in a better way. Right? So for us, it's not even a question. We have to interoperate with all of the products that are relevant for cloud security. It can be products around compliance or products around uh, EDR, right? Because if the SOC team is using EDR for on-premise and they want to get that signal for cloud to work with their developers, we need to be able to consume that. I, I think often um, individuals um, are curious about what's the most difficult technical challenge of Wiz. What I'm drawn to is actually what's the most challenging product experience for Wiz because Ultimately, you're solving a problem for people um, and across different teams and a variety of different stakeholders. Mm -hmm. What do you think is kind of evolved in how you think about design and experience to create a, a, a product that's used every single day by individuals outside of the security organization? Many times when you look at the, um, a product that's used by highly regulated huge enterprises and which is used today by more than 35% of Fortune 100, you would expect a highly, highly complicated product with tons of options that a regular user cannot use, right? We have a completely different approach, uh, which is simplification and self-service. Because eventually I need the end user, the developer, to be able to use the platform without a lot of training. Because maybe we have tens of thousands of developers in a company and the security team is tiny, so it's a completely new approach for security. Security needs to be approachable. There is a lot of technology behind it to make it seamless, to make it agentless, to be able to easily deploy. But it all comes to serve to one cause, simplification and self-service. Thank you, Ami. This was so much fun. Uh, I'm so delighted that I had the opportunity to spend time with you. I always get more energy when I'm in, in person with you at Wiz, so I really appreciate your time today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming. It's been really great to talk. And maybe just one closing question. What's the future of Wiz? we are focusing on one very simple and very important problem for customers. How do I build the platform to solve all of their needs around cloud security? 
for the security team, for DevOps, for developers, around risk analysis, around threat protection, around application security. And it's just amazing for me and exciting to see what we've done, but we just got started. There's so many problems we, have, we need to help customers solve, and that's where we're headed. Great, thank you. Thank you.